Dalton. I'm Jenica Belmont. Welcome to Techzilla. Hands on reviews of the latest tech and how to make the most out of the gear that you've already got. Whether you're a beginner or tech support for your friends and family, if you've got a question about tech or the most delicious way to roast a pig, we've got an answer for you. And if we don't, we'll track down someone who does and we might even hold them hostage if they're really good with barbecue. We do not actually hold pitmasters hostage. We no. will, however, happily take any and all free barbecue anyone wants to send us our way. That's 2415 3rd Street, Suite 232, San so, Francisco, California, 94107. Tech, tech show. Right? Tech show? Tech show. Sorry. Okay. Not barbecue show. I'm not even going to get into the whole Han Solo versus Mal Reynolds poll that was up on Geek Dad this weekend. But I will say, if your beloved Windows 7 box started shutting down every two hours this week, fear not. It is not a virus. It just means it's time to upgrade from the release candidate that you got for free to a full install that you're going to pay for. The crew over at HowToGeek.com, what an excellent name, and also an excellent how-to on upgrading from Windows 7 RC to the final release. We have a link to it in the show notes. I mentioned this because technically there is no way to upgrade to a shipping retail OEM version of Windows 7 from the release candidate you got for free for all these months unless you're actually willing to do a little bit of hacking about. You can go to HowToGeek to get the details. I will say that I'd much rather do a clean install from a fresh version of Windows 7. That is the best, the smartest, the happiest thing to do. Just back your data off of there and then install a fresh, clean install Windows 7 and start over again. Oh, by the way, and according to the geeks, the how-to geeks, the beta uh, release candidates of Windows 7 were Ultimate Edition, so you could only upgrade to the Ultimate Edition, which is a sparkling, brace yourself, $180 for the OEM version. The OEM version from my local computer store versus Home Premium, which has pretty much everything I've ever wanted in an operating system for $109. Bucks. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I gotta say, I really screwed up missing the Windows 7 family pack, which was three versions of premium for $150. Well, a clean, fresh install sounds like a good idea. I think it's, it's, it's just... It's the smart way to go. Yeah, from the strange and unsolicited email of the week department, Aaron writes in, five days of no interweb? I just spent six weeks not going on the internet. Never do that, ever. It burns! Six weeks without any internet access does sound awful, Aaron. Uh, viewer Craig wrote in with an alternative to the 360 electrical rotating surge protector that you were showing off last week. I was week. showing it off. He says a much more economical solution for power brick organization are the power liberators at cyberguys.com. Check them out. Yeah. Now, I was actually thinking of getting that twisty thing because I just started putting um, the uh, an iHome mm -hmm. setup in the bathroom. <laughs> so when I'm getting ready in the morning, I can listen to music or I can listen to my audiobooks and stuff. I know, like, like, like it takes some time setup. getting all this ready. I need something to entertain myself. Beauty comes at a price, people, and you are not paying it. But Veronica the, the brick. Is. The brick is giant on yes. the iHome, and so I can't fit my, my blow dryer plug <laughs> in there or any of my other like electrical things. So I need something so I can turn it to the side so I can plug stuff in on the top. Well, Craig, I like the wee little footlong extension cords that you just sent us the link to, you know, to get your fat plug devices. They're great if you already own a surge protector, but at three bucks each or 15 bucks for a five pack, they actually cost as much as the 360 Connect surge protector with the rotating plugs. So I don't know how much of a bargain that is. By the way, I had another friend lose a bunch of hardware from the blown motor control in his washing machine to the voltage stabilizer, the surge protector uh, that was between his home theater Ooh. gear and the outlets, blew like a $300 device out, plus took out his washing machine, plus apparently a lot of stuff in his neighborhood got taken out from light bulbs, electronics. Make sure you have surge protectors on your expensive gear, which at this point I would say includes any modern washing machine or any kind of stove or oven. Yeah. Where they can, well, actually, they don't Wait, really wait have, what took out the whole neighborhood? Was there like a transformer blow? Or There's or something? A, there are a couple of neighborhoods in San Francisco seem to have more electrical issues than others. Oh, okay. So the last time, they, the, my friend Josh, right, like everything electrical in this house was taken out. Apparently they had a trainee working for Pacific Gas and Electric that mm -hmm. like connected slot A to tab <laughs> noob. C. Noob. What a noob. <laughs> noob. Noob <laughs> pwned everyone in the neighborhood, like Power everyone noob. in that section of the grid. Um, it took out his, his, his toaster oven. His oh, television, not his the toaster stereo, oven. His, well, imagine like something in, like it, not like not like the delicate electronics. He took out his toaster oven, like it melted I'd the wire. I'd be pissed if it took out my microwave. It took out his microwave. That would be like 
Not that I, I, I don't use my microwave constantly, but that's like an expensive kind of. Yeah. I, I mean, not that all those other electronics aren't. The utility, re you know, replaced everything that got blown out in in his apartment, but it took a long time to get it, you know the payments and the cash together. And yeah. But it's also it's like if it's a lightning strike or if somebody you know screws up inside your house, they're not going to say, oh, we're so sorry. So put surge protectors on everything. Can't put it on the stove because there's no like 240 mm. volt surge protector. Well, I'm still trying to figure out why I value my microwave more highly than other electronic equipment in the house. Because it's when it's four in the morning and you want that microwave burrito, you don't want to have to walk to the sketchy 7-Eleven to microwave. Microwave, it. very important. <laughs> You're a geek. <sighs> All right.